This is beneficial for all the social security beneficiaries. We have got all the latest details regarding the social security benefits and the increases. And this one including people receiving social security, SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, retirement, RRB. And this is good news, exciting news for all the social security beneficiaries. And we have got three important questions. Basically, people are asking first one, how much for the social security beneficiaries? How much will be for SSDI recipient and how much benefit increases will be for SSI recipient. We are going to answer all these important questions right here in this video. We have got all the calculations and I'm going to show you how much estimated benefits are you going to receive. Taking the recent inflation data figures, I'll be projecting you some of the figures through which you can get a pretty good idea how much SSI, SSDI and social security beneficiaries can expect in their benefit payments. And we have got all the details right here in this video and this increase is projected to affect all the social security beneficiaries including those who receive retirement benefits, disability benefits, survivor benefits, SSI, SSDI, and social security benefits. So let me summarize the payment schedule onto the first of the month. September SSI payment will be coming in. Then the next important payment is on those social security beneficiary who receive the social security before May 1997 will be going to receive their payment on 1st September as well. And talking about 13th of the September, if your birth date lies between 1st to 10th of the month, be sure to check out 13th September for your payment payments to be deposited. If your birth date lies between 11th to 20th of the month, then be sure to check out 20th of the September for your payments to be deposited. And if your birth date lies between 21st to 31st of the month, then be sure to check out 27th September for your payments to be deposited. Also talking about the 29th of the September, this is when the October SSI payment will be arriving two days early. So don't get confused guys, no bonus payment, no extra checks. This will be your hard earned benefits just arriving couple of days early. Early. Taking the recent inflation data figures, I'll be projecting you some of the figures through which you can get a pretty good idea how much SSI, SSDI and social security beneficiaries can expect in their benefit payments. Now as per the recent report, when you take a look at the recent inflation data that's currently going on right now, it's estimated that the rate of the inflation for this year is gonna be around something like 2.3%. Now here is the thing guys, if the cost of living adjustment formerly known as COLA does come in at 3% rate, then actually it's pretty good increase from the exact rate of the inflation. The current rate of the inflation is 2.3% and if we get the projected COLA that is 3% cost of living adjustment, it could be good news for all the beneficiaries. But here is the thing guys, we are exactly not sure whether it will be again 3% higher than that or it could be lower than that. It's just a projection as of right now but it looks pretty solid as far as the current rate of the inflation. It could fall in somewhere around 3%. So let's say if you are getting 3% percent cost of living adjustment then how much it will be for SSI, SSDI and social security recipient and everyone underneath the social security radar. Let's calculate benefits for each of the recipient and let's get right into it. So guys what would this 3% increases will look like in terms of your monthly benefits. Let's take a look at it. So let's start with the calculation for SSDI and social security recipients. Now guys let me clarify this fact we are seeing 3% increase based on the most recent inflation data which is currently around 2.3% while this figure is lower than expected but we are looking for a significant increase when compared to those 8.7% increase that we saw this year and about 5.9% COLA increases last year. Now guys here is the thing have you ever wondered if your social security benefits actually reflect real expenses of the fixed income beneficiaries? A recent study clearly revealed a disparity between beneficiaries what they are receiving and what they should be receiving. Back in the year 2000 average social security benefit was $816 per month but by 2022 it had only increased to an average of $337 per month and this recent study found that over 23 year period so starting from 2000 all the way until 2022 over this 23 year period the real expenses of the fixed income beneficiaries actually increased by 130% which is a uh, quite a lot while benefits those social security benefit has only increased by 64% you know what guys that's actually half of the benefit fisheries requirement actually i mean they are spending 130 percent and they are only getting 64 percent benefits so that's totally unfair situation this means that average beneficiary should be receiving 1877 dollars that is about 500 dollars more than what they are expecting you know what so about right now they are receiving 1377 dollars which is actually 500 dollars less just comment down below whether your benefits that you are receiving are enough or not just reply in yes 
or no don't put out your actual numbers i just wanted to get an estimation whether these benefits are you receiving are satisfying your needs or not so this is very much clear according to the recent report that the cost of living adjustment provided the beneficiaries has not kept up with the actual cost of living expenses recently electricity prices have risen 11 percent in past two years heating oil have risen 27 percent natural gas nearly 27 percent raise and you know what this is just the cost of energy alone we are not talking about other stuff while cost of living adjustment have increased you know what in last year 8.7 percent and this year we are seeing the projections of three percent so that's not good so let's take a look at what would this three percent increases will look like in terms of your monthly benefits first for ssdi and social security recipient so let's say if you are currently receiving 600 dollar benefit with three percent cola increases it would be additional 18 dollars per month bringing you total of 618 dollars somebody receiving 800 dollar benefit after three percent raise it would be an additional 24 dollars per month which would total out 824 dollars somebody receiving 1000 dollar in benefits after three percent raise it would be additional 30 dollars per month so bringing you total of 1030 dollars let's say somebody receiving 1200 dollar benefits after three percent raise it, it would be additional 36 dollars per month bringing you total of 1236 dollars while somebody receiving 1400 dollar benefits after three percent raise it would be additional 40 dollars per month bringing you total of 1442 dollars now somebody receiving 1700 dollar benefits after three percent cost of living adjustment raises it would be additional 51 dollars per month bringing you total of 1751 dollars now somebody receiving 2000 dollar benefits after three percent cola raises it would be additional 60 dollars per month bringing you total of 2060 dollars somebody receiving 2300 dollar benefits after the three percent raise it would be additional 69 dollars per month bringing you total of 2369 dollars somebody receiving 2500 dollar benefits after three percent raise it would be additional 75 dollars per month bringing you total of 2575 dollars let's say somebody receiving 2800 dollar benefits after the three percent raise it would be additional 84 dollars per month bringing you total of 2884 dollars and somebody receiving three thousand dollar benefits after three percent raise it would be additional 90 dollars per month so it will be final three thousand and ninety dollars all right guys moving forward let's talk about the recent projections for the ssi beneficiaries supplemental security income benefits and let's project how much increase would they be expecting how much your monthly benefits would be going forward in the 2024 so let's get right to it now again let me clarify this these projections are based on the recently released numbers and it is anticipated that the cost of living adjustment 2024 will be around three percent so based on that calculation let's take a look at how much ssi beneficiaries will be going to receive now guys when it comes down to getting ssi benefits you need to meet certain criteria criteria including having a disability being a blind or having limited income and resources if you meet this criteria then you meet the requirements to receive ssi benefits also in addition to that there are other factors to consider when it comes down to ssi benefits and this is including being residents and citizens of united states and not being over the age 65 and not receiving social security benefits now guys when you take a look at the current rate of the inflation it's currently going on right now and estimates are the rate of the inflation for this year is gonna be around 2.3 percent now let's say if the cola does come in, in at three percent it's actually pretty good increases from the exact rate of the inflation that is currently going on right now but you know what guys that's a good news but we are not entirely sure if it's gonna be exactly three percent higher than that or less than that so again i wanted to bring your attention to this very important fact that if the cola does come in at three percent raise it's still not a great increase for all the beneficiaries but anyway let's calculate what it means for your benefits how much increase can you expect so let's get right into it so speaking of this numbers we are talking about the maximum benefits right now for ssi federal standard and for individuals it's 914 dollars per month in 2023 and for couples it is 1371 dollars per month now again guys these are your normal monthly ssi benefits so now applying three percent cost of living adjustment cola would be based on the maximum benefit of 914 dollars per month in the 2023 for SSI beneficiaries and we are talking about those group of individuals who receive SSI benefits. So applying 3% raise to your $914 benefit, well calculation will be, you know what, 3% increases would be around $27 increases. So you know what guys, additional $27 will be the increases.
increases in your monthly benefits if you are SSI recipient and individual. So you know what, from $914 per month, you'll be going to receive additional $27 per month. So that will equal to $941 as your SSI federal standard payment as an individual. Remember guys, these are 2024 COLA figures that we are projecting and these are estimations. These increases may not actually be 3% COLA adjustment. So it could be adjusting higher or even lower than that. So just take this with a pinch of salt. Now guys, speaking of the couples receiving SSI benefits, well, 3% of the COLA raises to their $1,371 current benefits that they are receiving in 2023. Well, 3% of $1,371 equals to about $41.1 and additional payment in your monthly checks. Now remember guys, additional $41 in your $1,371 payment. So right from $1,371 in the 2024 you'll be going to receive $1412 in your SSI federal standard payment if you are a married couple. Now again remember guys these are the projections we are talking about. All these numbers I'm showing you right now are not set in the stones. You know what these numbers are not fixed but looks like as for the current rate of the inflation these figures do look very solid that's why I'm projecting you this data. So this is something kind of worries me a lot and guys if you are looking at your monthly benefits so it's very important to understand and all the impact how it will impact your benefit moving forward exactly i hope this video has provided you enough clarity so make sure to hit that subscribe button also hit that like button turn on all the bell notifications so you'll stay updated to all the latest details all the latest releases from the social security reforms so make sure you subscribe with all the bell notification don't forget to turn on all the bell notification hit that like share this video and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video